The growing resistance of bacteria to antibiotics is one of the most pressing challenges facing modern medicine. The problem has been made worse by the extensive use of antibiotics on farm animals. Now researchers at Leicester University are developing an alternative way of treating diseases in pigs. As our science correspondent Palab Ghosh reports, it's hoped the findings will have benefits for humans too. Nearly half the antibiotics used in Britain are given to livestock to keep them healthy. Outdoor breeding. Simon Watchhorn rears his pigs outdoors so he doesn't use a great deal. But indoor intensive farms do. So if their animals become infected with drug resistant superbugs, then the infection could be passed on to people if the meat isn't properly cooked. There was a suggestion that resistant bacteria in animals might be passed to humans and if, and if we got another tool in our toolbox where we can deal with resistant bacteria, whether it be in the animal population or in the human population, that's got to be a gain. Researchers at Leicester University may have come up with just the tool that farmers are asking for. A virus called a phage that kills infections just like antibiotics. The phage attaches itself to a salmonella bug. The virus then injects it with its DNA and makes the salmonella harmless. And if it stops superbugs developing in animals, it'll reduce the risk to people. It could be completely transformative for human health. There are many bacteria that we just can't treat now with antibiotics because they've become resistant to all the antibiotics we know. So using this natural enemy of the bacteria um, for specific diseases could really change the way that we treat infection in the future. So far they've shown that it works in the lab and they freeze dried the phage into a white powder. The next stage is to feed the phage to pigs to see if it works in practice. If it does, then it could begin to replace antibiotics and that could greatly reduce the risk of superbugs developing on farms. Trials are due to begin later this year. If they're successful, doctors can then see if the phage virus can be used to treat people. Palab Ghosh, BBC News, Leicester.